Well hello there guys and welcome back. Today I actually uh, decided to destroy my uh, little grinder of the wheat maker. I uh, was really getting irritated because I needed wheat because I was actually trying to breed animals. So uh, I decided, you know, why not just push this up on the schedule and finish it while I can. This way it doesn't just end up being a project forever. So, I'm trying to just remake everything out of stone so it's not all dirt and just regular smooth stone mixed together because it kind of looks nasty. Uh, let's see, I hope to see it doesn't go outside, that's good. So, this episode is mostly going, well, it will probably can mostly 100% consist of just me trying to fix and build this. So, uh, get your notes out because a lot of you are about to uh, learn a lot of redstone. That's if you don't already know it. And if you're not a complete novice. Ah, no, I guess even... Ooh, I guess even intermediate people could probably learn from this. Though they've probably seen it a million times. Anyway, enough rambling. Okay. So, on to the project at hand. One of the major things i got to get done is this. Now, the problem I was having with this little part right here was I would hit this, it would come up, it would dispense the uh, seedling, and you know, I'd run up and this wall would be up here so I couldn't go any further, and I'd right click and it would go like that. But for some reason, it was sending a two tick update pulse to this, uh, what the hell is it, to this piston. Now, what happens is every time it shot twice, it would shoot out two bones and another seed. So my inventory would fill up too quick for me to actually, you know, uh, have it keep updating by just holding down the right click. So that is the problem I'm actually trying to fix right now. I'm hoping I could fix it at least. I'm honestly not even sure. I looked over the system a bunch of times. I have no clue why it's doing that. But I am going to try to fix it today because I really, really need wheat. So let's get right into this. That goes there. Oh, big thing that I'm going to try and uh, hold off on. In my last episode, I kind of realized something about myself. I tend to, when I run out of things to say, curse. And it's like a filler for like, well, exactly like that, when people just say, you know, like, or uh, and uh, because they're just thinking. But the problem I have at hand is when I go to say something and it just, you know, it takes too long or I don't want to leave that kind of gap in, for some reason uh, my potty mouth decides to come out. And I really didn't like it. It was very unprofessional and it bugged me a lot that I cursed that much and I even uploaded it but you know I'm pretty much going to use that as a little helper for myself in the fact that I'm going to try to keep cursing to an absolute minimum which means yes there will be some times where I slip up and you know not everyone can be perfect so I'm sorry but it's bound to happen this is right, this seems to go up here. Uh, but uh, the main thing I want to do is just to make sure that I don't go overboard with it. And I'm hoping that'll work out great, because if it doesn't, then I'm going to have to put like a lock on my mouth to shut me up. Because I really do not... I, it's not so much the fact that I have a problem with cursing, like... You know, it's cursing. It's just something that's... Oh, well, now I know what I messed up. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's cursing. Everybody does it. They just It's like a kind of release valve for some odd reason. Um, but, you know, there I go with the ums again. <laughs> uh, stop that. Damn it. But, you know, so... uh. Even if it's that, I don't like the fact that I am, because, 
you know, not only adults or teenagers or whoever would be watching this, if anything, there'd be kids watching this too. And, ah, uh, yeah, that is wrong. How did I get this wrong? I mean, if I put it up here, it's going to be too far away from the update. Would it not? Gee, you see, this is what happens. You destroy something and you never remember how you did it again. But yeah, it was probably up here. That's probably why I had the thing set up as I did. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, kids could be watching this. And I don't feel like being their uh, type of, I guess, teacher into the world of cursing. Because, you know, when I was a kid, you know, parents always told me, ah, you know, cursing's bad, don't ever do it, you know, you'll be in a lot of trouble. And, of course, to me, it was just like, okay, cursing's bad. And I always heard people around me do it. And, you know, then I started doing it, it just became a habit. I don't want to do that to the kids of, like, the next generation that watch this or, you know, just the next generation, period. Like, I don't want to be their teacher for having a bad potty mouth. I don't want to be the one that, you know... Uh, has them just come up to the parents and be like, oh, you know, blah, 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 because, you know, that just sets a bad example. And I definitely do not want to be in that boat. How the heck do I... Hmm. What did I do? Okay, you know what I did? I know what I did. I did not set it. Let's go up one. Can I go up one? I can. That. This might have actually been what's causing the update problem. Let's see, so... Oops. I can't remember that's not how it works. Uh, no, that couldn't be. It's too far away. It's one block, and there's... I don't think that this can go vertically up. You know, just in case, let's keep that open and see how that works out. And we'll just do a quick test with that. Like that and that. And put this back on. Okay, so we have that there. This is coming down here, which then shoves this up and becomes a toggle. And this shouldn't create a loop, so I shouldn't have a tor uh, torch, a torch. Blah, blah, blah. A uh, torch burnout. So now this comes down here, and I have this set to run to this. And this is very dark. Why is this so dark? Let's light this baby up. Okay, so now let's see what I can do here. Now it's obviously not going to set anything off there because that is itself. You dang guys. Ooh. My poor sword, it's almost gone. I'm so sad. Okay, you go there, you go there. How are you looking up there? Okay. So, turn the system on. This does not sound like the system turned on. And this system did not turn on. Which one's this on? It is right there. So, here, here. And here. Oop. I amaze myself how I can mess this up so easily. Nope. There we go. Okay. I actually wonder how I even got that to work in the first place. Oh, that's how I got it to work in the first place. Went like that. Did it go like that? Did it go like that? Well, I got a new way of doing it now. <laughs> I'll figure out a way to make it look nice later. I really just want to get this fixed. Okay, so we have some in there. We have some there. Uh, do not have a bucket on me. I'm going to need water for this test. So let's see what we got. Uh, water bottle. Unfortunately, we cannot do anything with that. Once it's in the bottle, it is in the bottle. Um, I believe, yes. Okay, this is here. And I'm pretty sure I had a hoe here some oh wooden hoe, there you go. That's my hoe. Okay. Uh I gotta get I gotta bake all those uh stones and make them nice little cobblestones. This way we can start getting to work on the pillar of hope. And I honestly feel like that's gonna look nice. I'm gonna put a couple to the 
designs on the walls as it goes up. It might come kind of like extrude. Uh, it'll look nice. Oh. Wait, isn't the system on? Yeah, I thought so. What the heck's going on? The system's on, right? Oh, wait, shoot. I didn't put it the right one, did I? No, I did. Is this... No, it doesn't. <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't have it set up. That actually might uh, might bring a valid point of why this might not be working. Okay. So we go like, okay. Herp derp. That makes more sense. So. What we do here, and I run out of torches, which means I've changed the system a lot. <laughs> and it's not a surprise that I have. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to go get more stuff. But for right now, you are active, so please stay active. Don't follow me, Skelly. I heard that. Okay. Oops. Let's go like this. Cover this back up. Bro, come on. It was so uncalled for. Okay, so we have this. I don't know why I keep expecting that to work when I never set the system up. Okay, well, let's get this out of the way. Uh, so. This comes down. Come on. There. And this goes here. Get that. Water goes there. Okay. So, now we have that. And that should set that up. We go like this. We hoe it. And we grab one seed. And let's see how well this works out. It didn't work out. I think I forgot the most crucial part. That goes here. I made that turn when it wasn't supposed to. Hmm. Okay. So it goes here. It gets transferred to here. I don't need this or this. This comes that goes vertical. Right now this is powered. This this isn't powered. And I do believe that even if I did do an update right now, it shouldn't go. No, I don't think so. Because as it stands... Actually, I only need one tick for that. Yeah, as it stands, it's not even reaching... Oh! That mm, worked. Didn't want it to work, but it did. Oh no! Don't do that to me, man. Okay. So. Oops. Yeah, I didn't think that would work like that. So let's see if I can do it like this instead. I ah, know, because the only problem is, is that even if it's like that, uh, I do not have anything to put down now, do I? It's time to grab some dust. Jeez. Maybe I'm the one who needs training. Ah, nothing ever works out in my head. Okay, guys, hold on. Be right back. No clue why. Not a clue why, but it seems to have pretty much fixed itself. So, I guess it was an update bug. Or maybe I did do something stupid and then undid it. Don't know. Don't care. It works. <laughs> so, now that I've just spam fed everything, let's see if I can get this to work now. So, we have one spot open, and yes, my sword, all I have left is this. It, it blew up. My beautiful sword. <laughs> okay, so we lock 
that into place. It seems to work perfect with this. Now... Overdid it. But didn't want to use it all, so... Let's unlock the system. Ah, oh, poor little guy. And now, the biggest... Here's, here's the thing. It's when this, this little thing up here, this system I implemented up there, happened that it started doing a secondary update. I'm not sure why, and I'm hoping that this will fix it, but uh, we'll find out in a second. So, let's just drop this down here. And let's see, so that we got one, two, ouch. One, two, three, four, five, oh shoot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. Let's bring this down some more. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, da 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 da. So, please tell me, I, yes, I do have some repeaters that I should have been using throughout the system, but hey. Whatever floats your boat. That seems to work out good enough. So, now, with all of that, why do I have so many seats? Okay, so we have eight there. Let me destroy these inside for testing purposes. Okay, got that, got that, and got that. Okay, so, go like this. What have I done? Okay, well, I'm going to have to adjust the timing on that. Uh, so let's do that. Go like that, and... See, and that's what happens. It's just... Maybe I can't have this nice little system. <laughs> okay, let's see. So it comes up here, right? And it comes over to here. Is it because it's so close to the update system, maybe? Although I can't see that being a problem. It's not actually touching. It's a full box length away. This is a uh, this is diagonal, so I mean I can see I can understand why that would be affecting the piston, but this is a full block away. That shouldn't be affecting it at all, and none of the wiring is anywhere close to it. I've unhooked any other the blocks that would kinda make like a transition to it. So I'm not entirely sure why it's rejecting that pattern, but it is quite irritating. So let's see, we have this here. This I can't really change. I don't understand why it's slower, but it's not a problem. I can deal with that. That's my own little problem issues. So then this comes up here, right? That goes there. This comes over to here. This updates this, which then goes down here and updates this, which then pulses it and allows it to go up and down. Let me just fix this. Great. Grab that. Now all this comes into here. Let's light this place up so nothing spawns. That's thing I need is a creeper being a... well, a creeper. Okay, that goes over to here. So there is nothing here that should be updated in the system, but it still is. So... I guess I must investigate further, or just get rid of that system. Ugh, but it's really, it's just convenient. I like how it's just, you know, you have it there, and it's not an annoyance. I could create a double pulse here, just throw one out. Or I could try to figure out a smart system to have it, whichever one's already there, you know. Then, uh, it would throw out the opposite, but... That's something for a later date. Right now, I'd really just... Okay, so we have this. Let's see, what is this? It throws two. Did it throw two that time? No, it did not. Just threw one that time. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna look a little bit into this, and hopefully I'll figure it out, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, well, unfortunately, I have absolutely no clue. Maybe somebody could tell me, because 
I do kind of like the system on how it was an easy to use system, but uh, it did keep updating because it was it was definitely because or I'm hoping that I'm right about this. It was definitely because it was near this. The second I d I destroyed a redstone down here and stopped well, I stopped uh, updating this when I stepped on it, uh, it no longer caused a problem. So unfortunately, as it is now, I'm going to have to keep it. Uh, the original way. It's you know, it's not too bad. I, I was just being really lazy. Uh, so I didn't want to like pick up a wheat or bone. But uh, it seems that that's uh, is probably going to be the best option in this case. Let's block this all up. But you know that fixes oh, I'll clean this all up later. I'm not going to make you guys watch it all. But, uh, you know, that pretty much fixes this up, so I have that, that's launched, ready to go, and then it's just pretty much sit and hold. Such a nice and easy system. And you get a lot of wheat from this, I mean, it's a pretty easy system, you just gotta make sure you kill a lot of skellies to get a lot of bones. And then the rest is up to you. And look at that, 62 wheat. It's not a bad haul. Okay, so then that fixes this. That, uh... I'll make that look a lot nicer. I'll probably get rid of the mountain period and just make it like another brick kind of room. This way it's, you know, doesn't look weird as crud. Uh, so now I'm going to take you on an adventure. I promised this the last episode, and I said that I would take you to the village. I do not have that minecart on me. You know, let me get rid of everything, so... That I am not, just in case I die, because if I die I don't want to lose everything, and it's a pretty long ways that way. So let's quickly get rid of this stuff, da, 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 da. get rid of all that, that's wood, this is stone. Hey, what the heck's all my, did I use it all already? Gosh darn it. Okay. This can go back here. Oops, that can go there. That's got to go to redstone, redstone, and redstone. That sticks with me, miscellaneous, and dirt. Thought I missed you, didn't you? Let's move this here to here. Okay. So, redstone, put this back. You and you can go back. And then we have oh, potion materials. That's where you go. Miscellaneous, you guys go in here. Uh, you don't go, you go into useful items, because you are one useful item. Ah, uh, there's all my bones. Well, that's... that just... solves everything. Let's go like that, give me some of those torches. And I definitely don't want to lose my wood. I mean, it's not like I don't have enough. Uh, and I'll save some of my coal. Okie dokie. So. Next question. Where did I leave my minecart? Here it is. Don't know why that was in miscellaneous items. That's a pretty useful item, if I do say so myself. Hopefully it's night time. It is not night time. So, we are going to brave the storm and go out. And hopefully nothing spawned out here. Ah, uh, no, just a nice, enjoyable ride through the Minecraftian world. I really wish these things go faster. I know there's a mod. I'm trying to think what mod it is. It was a long time. I think I believe it's a bucket mod. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I'm guessing it is. I think that's the only server type plugin thing that I used a while back that actually used plugins. Uh, might not have been bucket. Ooh, shoot, might not have been bucket at the time. I think it was. Uh, what was the one before bucket? They abandoned the project. Something with an H. Anyway, whatever it was. There was a mod that if you placed redstone next or a redstone torch next to like an obsidian under a gold track, it shot you like a million miles an hour in one direction. And I thought that was just amazing. I love that thing. Ah, oh, well, we're out of the rain. Too bad I need more uh tracks. Oh wow, that actually stayed. I guess I haven't been in this chunk for a while. So yes, that is as far as I got. Wow. Another track. Another track. Oh, there's my dog. Dang teleporting glitch. 
Okay, well, I'm probably not going to be able to stay on here with my dogs. I wonder if anyone else has actually gotten that, where, like, even though your dogs are sitting, they just teleport to you. It's a quite annoying glitch. Uh, at least I think it's a glitch. I'm hoping it's not actually part of the game, like the cats, where they get impatient and decide to just, like, you know, get up and follow you and then sit on top of your objects so you can't uh, interact with them. That is... Hello, chicken. That has to be the most annoying feature in the game, but the fact is, is that I own a cat, and they're exactly like that. They make sure that they're your center of attention, so that, you know, you always pay attention to them. So they just climb on top of you, they climb on top of your little tools or anything. Anything that you try to grab, they'll just be there going, jetting for your hand. Which confuses me, because, you know, my cat used to be, like, independent. Now it's just like, you know, either you love it, or it will just attack you constantly. So much for cats just being independent by themselves. Not as bad as dogs, where, you know, dogs do need to be, I guess, uh, loved or with somebody or, you know, played with for a certain amount of time. So, you know, like, because they're very hyperactive, including as puppies. Cats just lay there and do nothing until they want something. Okay, anyway, back on topic of this. Here is the village. As you can see, I had a lot of problems at first. I was trying to, like, get the guy to go up and I kept falling off the edge and it wasn't pretty so I just kind of made little trails and this entire thing was just rails 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 it'd be like 53 rails and then come all the way back and delete them all and it was just pretty much on and on still haven't harvested this I should probably do that that's all I need I'll do it later anyway this is a very weird village it like kind of ducks down and then comes back up it... you guys will settle anywhere nowadays won't you I actually originally thought that they only settled on planes because that's all I ever saw them in until I saw this. Now I'm kind of wondering if at one point this was like a plane before everything settled or if it uh if you know they actually built it like this which if they did that's kind of cool. I guess that means that they can really build anywhere they want. They just need to take some initiative. So that's cool. Actually what what the is this just how it is? Like, anything above ground? Kind of, yeah, look at that. I guess that's part of the code. I guess anywhere that it, uh, it has space underneath before another block they put down. Oh, watch out, puppy. They put down a uh, cobblestone to be like a foundation. That's pretty cool. I actually haven't explored this house. Why does it look so... Lighting glitch, that figures. Okay, so that is... The house. There are so many... T Testificates? Yeah, testificates here. This guy is doing the hula. And this guy... Ooh, wow, look at that. Oh. 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 I think they found each other. Oh, they're solo mates. Oh, snap. Don't let me intrude. Just gonna, just gonna walk in your house. Steal all your belongings. This place doesn't have a blacksmith. That was so depressing when I found that out. I found the village and I'm like, yes, what goodies do you have for me? And, of course, the one thing they don't have is a blacksmith. Although they have this house. It's, like, built into the world. I thought that was actually pretty cool. Until I had to dig to the wall, uh, the door. So there was, like, 16 of these guys trapped in here. And I built a way out so I could, like, minecart one out. And, of course, it was nighttime. And one zombie decided to walk in. And they just flooded everywhere. It's like, uh... If you ever put a bunch of NPCs in one like one block location, so say you just like block off this, and all you can, all they can do is stand on one this one block. The second, if you put maybe I'm gonna say like a hundred on this block, and then you open up a path that's big enough for them to escape, they'll be shot out like a gun, uh, like a bullet. They just go speeding past you. If any whatever type of color, I did it with creepers, so all I saw was like this green blur. Wait a second. Am I dumb? I might be dumb. Did I actually? This is a blacksmith. Yes, yeah, it is. I thought so. Did I pillage this? There's no way I did. I would have remembered if I pillaged this. Oh, that makes me depressed. No, there, there had. I had to have pillaged this. I, I have to just be an idiot. Ooh. There's no way that I didn't. Is there? Are there empty? Uh, chests and blacksmiths sometimes, because 
damn, that would be... I think I might murder this entire village. Ah, oh, that sucks. Uh, I wonder if I should make like a temporary home here. Because it's really annoying going all the way back. I was actually con contemplating... There we go. Oh my god, I cannot speak tonight. I was actually contemplating just instead of carting them back uh, to just make a redstone wire that goes all the way from here all the way back over to my house like under the ocean but uh, the problem with that is that I'm not entirely sure how single player works with uh, chunks and redstone I know in multiplayer if a, another player or you aren't in the chunk where like a trigger is for a redstone or if a chunk's not loaded for where the wire is uh, it won't update that redstone. So, say there's somebody in a chunk where the trigger is, they press it. Then there, there's you in, uh, you know, whatever it is. So, like, the day-night sensor, the NPC, someone's there, the NPC steps on the trigger because it's nighttime, and they go inside, and you're back at your house waiting for the update for, like, lights to come on, say, whatever. So, you're, like, it lights up your house automatically at night. But there's nobody like on the in between, uh, in between part of it, so the redstone will go, and then it'll just stop, and it won't update to your chunk, and that's been an annoying problem for a while. Hopefully that gets fixed. I know that they are making it. Uh, they said that they are coming up with the, I believe 1.3. They're going to try to make SMP exactly like single player because they're going to make it an independent system and I honestly I can't wait for that I'm excited for that I am pumped I am ready to just I'm ready to like, when that comes out I'm ready to just unleash hell because if that's the facts uh, did I sit down here already I think I was no I wasn't well guess what we're doing next episode sorry guys <laughs> But uh, anyway, uh, when I heard that, I was pumped. I cannot wait, because if it's like single player, that means everything will work. There won't be any bug glitches. Mobs won't, like, you know, mobs won't be buggy. Uh, if anyone's actually made a mob grinder in SMP, you notice that... Oh, I'm sorry, Poppy. You notice that uh, mobs seem to have a kind of bad collision mesh. Or not mesh, just a bad collision box or hitbox. So, uh. Oh, God, that was so creepy. I forgot they freaking do this in single player. Oh, my God, that is. That is terrifying. They do not look like that in SMP. Puppies, why are you not doing anything to help me? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. Oh, my God, I killed a puppy. Baby, come back. Here, puppy. I feel so bad for you. You can have the... Actually... You hit me, motherfucker. I'll hear you. Oh, I said a curse. See? I knew that was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid, stupid me. Oops. There you go. Now I feel bad. Okay. Well... I'm gonna just stay around here, because I'm probably gonna go down to this ravine. Uh, let's get rid of you. Oh, nope. Don't shove me down there. Go away. Oh, I'm having a horrible time with creepers. Okay, let's give you some more food. You deserve it. You're a good puppy. Oh, well, now you love me. That's good. I gotta go get you a companion. You can become soulmates. Okay. So, I guess this is where I could end it off, since it's not going so well. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching another episode. Um, I still have the uh, goal of intending to keep it, of, you know, not cursing like a sailor and keeping the swearing to a absolute minimum, hopefully, so that the younger viewers can watch without parents, you know, yelling and raging and, you know, being all around furious with me, and I wouldn't blame them because... If my kid were to watch somebody who was cursing and everything, then couldn't control themselves, then... I mean, one, I would tell them to stop watching, and two, I would be a little mad that they couldn't, you know, at least watch a language when somebody... when they know that little kids might be watching. So that is something I'm going to try to keep in mind. 
Uh, and that is pretty much all I have to say. So, I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.